Hey, Definitely Owen here, bringing you some fascinating facts about the atom. Now before we get into any facts, here's a brief description of what an atom is. The atom is a basic unit of matter that consists of a dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. The atomic nucleus contains a mix of positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. Each atom has the same number of protons as it does electrons, therefore giving it a neutral electrical charge. Okay, so first fact about the atom is where the name came from. Around 2,500 years ago, a Greek scientist came up with the idea that there must be a point where you can no longer cut things smaller. He named the atom after the Greek word atomus, which means that which cannot be split. The most interesting part about this is even 2,500 years ago, they were almost exactly right. We can't actually split atoms, however when we split atoms, we don't get two halves in atoms. If you cut an atom into pieces, you just get the electrons, protons and neutrons that can be arranged into something else entirely. So the size of an atom. Just to get a sense of the size of an atom, the approximate diameter of an atom is 0 0.0000000001 meters across. That makes sense. Here's a good analogy to try and understand how small the atom is. There are more atoms in a glass of water than there are glasses of water in all the world's oceans. So what that means is there's more atoms in the water in the glass then there are the volume of water in the glass in all the oceans. So this is interesting. Because all electrons are negatively charged, we never physically touch anything in our entire life. Like everything else, the surface of our body are made up of atoms. So when you touch something, you're not actually feeling the material, you're feeling the electrons repel. The electromagnetic forces between the atoms stop the nuclei from ever touching. And our muscles aren't strong enough to overcome this force. So that's why when you touch something, your hand just doesn't go straight through it. Also, the nucleus is super dense. What I mean by this is that the nucleus at the core of the atom makes up for 99.9% .9 of the mass, but only a trillionth of the volume. Due to the heavy density of the nucleus itself, atomic nuclei are held together by the strong force. This force is 1,038 times stronger than gravity, but this force only operates on the minute scale of the nucleus. Also, electrons are tiny. If you can imagine the size of the atom, and how small it is, and how it's made up of neutrons, protons, electrons, the size of the electron is 1,836th the size of a neutron or proton. This means that you would need 1,836 electrons to form the size of a proton or a neutron. Due to their size, electrons contribute almost nothing to the atom's mass. But they are the most active compound of the atom. This is because they are responsible for all the bonding to other atoms. So if the nucleus takes up a trillionth of the atom's volume and electrons are tiny, where's the other 99.9% .9 of the volume coming from? Well, if you can imagine the nucleus of the atom as the sun and the electrons as planets orbiting it, 99.9% .9 of the volume is the space between the nucleus and the electrons. To kind of make that more visually feasible, if the atom's nucleus was the size of a basketball, the electrons would be zipping round several miles away. So if you think about all that space between the nucleus and the electrons, so this space was taken out of every atom in every human's body, all seven billion of us could fit inside something the size of an apple. Well, that's all the knowledge I'm going to part with you today. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And as always, I'm definitely Owen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Definitely Owen, and I'll see you in the next video.